Hello, folks. My name is Kate, and this is my channel, Chapter Kate. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that I've referenced a couple times, but I've never really explained it in detail, um, and that is my eyes. So, I have something called convergence insufficiency. This is a really common near vision problem that basically means your eyes don't quite work together. Typically, this eye sees something, this eye sees something, and they put the image together so we can just see it instead of, you know, experiencing it in stereo, you know, visual stereo. But it's something that has basically been in my life since I was really young. I noticed it probably in second grade when we started reading books where the words were closer together. And I knew something was wrong with my eyes, but no one really believed me. They kind of just said it was probably something to do with my focus. And it was probably something to do with my focus as well, but that's also a part of it. They don't usually catch convergence insufficiency when you're young because you can pass an eye test. You can have 20-20 vision and still have convergence insufficiency. Now, since it's a near vision difficulty, when something's far away, I can see it just fine. But when something's up close, it starts to hurt my eyes a lot. And I can see it sometimes, but it, it makes it very hard to see. And so sometimes my eyes will kind of give up because they can't make it come into focus all the way. So some of the symptoms that are typical for convergence insufficiency are headaches, difficulty focusing, difficulty seeing up close, double vision, vertigo, motion sickness, clumsiness, running into things, having difficulty kind of moving about in a space, difficulty reading. A lot of times when you read, you skip lines or you can't track on the page. Um, and then, of course, there is, you know, the blurred vision. There is headaches. There's the difficulty when you're reading, you immediately forget what you read because you're having such a hard time kind of seeing it. Squinting, rubbing an eye or covering one eye, sleepiness while reading, or um, seeing the words and lines kind of move around the page while you read. I kind of have a list here of those. And I kind of want to talk about the ones that I most often experience myself. And those would definitely be the eye strain. I feel it all the time. Um, the headaches. Sometimes blurred vision. It's usually not to the point where it's double, but it's usually blurred. Um, but occasionally it'll be double. I have a hard time concentrating. I have difficulty, you know, paying attention. Um, I squint a lot. I used to keep my eye covered. It just, you know, was part of that emo phase where you have you have the hair over one eye. I still have it, but it's not quite as dramatic. You can usually see my eyes now. I used to only really have one eye showing, and it honestly helped a lot. <laughs> I might as well just wear an eye patch. I also experienced the um, trouble remembering what I read, and also I experienced vertigo and motion sickness. And, as you've noticed on my channel before, if you've seen my videos, I run into stuff and I drop things a lot. I'm very, I have a hard time moving about in a space because I just don't realize how close something is. Because if your eyes don't work together, depth perception often is off as well. There's also one more sign that I, I forgot about, but it's, you have a hard time making eye contact, which for me is really difficult because I'm a therapist and I have to make eye contact a lot with people. When I'm doing my videos often, if you'll notice, I don't always look into the camera because it's like such a tiny point and it ha my eyes have a hard time with that. Um, so I'll look, you know, over there, I'll look over there, I'll, you know, I'll glance up occasionally, but I do have a hard time kind of looking into the lens. There are two main forms of treatment for convergence insufficiency. One is active treatment and active treatment involves vision therapy. So you go and you sit and they lead you through different visual exercises. Um, and then eventually your eyes learn to work together. And then there's also passive treatment, which involves prism lenses, which sort of force your eyes to work together. However, the prism lenses don't always work. They don't really cure. They kind of just make your eyes dependent on them. Um, I've actually been given glasses, but they were not prism lenses. They were to fix the tiniest bit of, you know, farsighted and nearsightedness. One of my eyes is like a teeny bit farsighted, one's a teeny bit nearsighted. And it, it fixes that just so there's slightly less eye strain, but they don't actually do anything for my convergence insufficiency. And then another form of, you know, practice that can kind of help or has been, you know, rumored to help is using pencil push-ups, which is basically, you know, taking like a pen or a pencil and like keeping your eyes focused on the tip as you bring it closer. I, from what I've gathered, at least that's something I've been told to do to practice. However, it has not been proven to be like really effective um, in most cases, so I haven't really been doing that. Now, I have tried to get treatment for my convergence insufficiency. I have been having a hard time recently. It kind of comes in waves of being really bad for a while. And lately, I've been having kind of constant headaches, have not been able to focus on anything. I keep skipping things when I'm reading, which is not good in my job. I, you know, I just can't, I keep running into things and I'm just always frustrated because of all the symptoms I'm experiencing with it. So my husband actually looked up a couple of other types of therapy and he found something called Vivid Vision, which is a sort of vision therapy program, but it's for virtual reality technologies. And we have an Oculus Rift at home, so if I can get a prescription for it, then I can use it at home. 
So I've made an appointment with a vision therapy place um, in Columbia, so that's about two hours south of here. And hopefully I'll get a prescription for it and I'll be able to afford it because my insurance does cover part of that, I believe. And now I have a care credit card, which so I don't make life a little bit easier with that so I'm gonna try and like document my journey with vision therapy a little bit just so you can be more aware of it and aware that it is something that happens to a lot of people it's actually pretty common and maybe it's something that can help you you never know so I'm gonna try and do some videos with me working the system once I've you know got a prescription and things like that and we'll see how it goes but I am really excited to have y'all kind of on that journey with me so if you like more of this junk subscribe below bye Tripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night I feel the soldiers coming, I'm done pulling up a fight